films or mga series, kagaya ng mga 30 Days of Swine, mga ganyan. So, nandun yung iba-ibang mga elemento, like yung mga, yun nga, yung sa social media, uh, bullying, mga ganon, mga um, suicide, di ba ganon direct sa mga pagets na ngayon, na parang napakabilis lang sa kanila. Uh, ganon ba yung mga na nakita niyo rin? And even, ano, sa mga gay relationships, di ba? Parang open na ngayon sa mga baget sa mga huling generation na parang fluid na pagdating sa sex ang iba. So, ganun, agree rin ba kayo? Ano hindi ba nakikita nyo sa generation nyo? Um, me, personally, I really don't care about other people understanding our generation. Because, like, wala namang bearing sa amin yun eh. Like, with what you were saying with the gay, with the gay relationships being open now, I think it's about time. I don't, why should someone have to hide their sexuality? Why should someone have to hide who they're dating? Because the older generation cares, right? I, I, I think it's stupid that we... That's probably the characteristic of the older generation. Yeah, it's probably the same. They don't care. That's probably the same thing you can see. And then your belief. Because... Why I, I don't like I understand for religious purposes about like for example the divorce bill like if you don't want to get a divorce if your religion doesn't uh, allow you to get a divorce then don't get divorced but don't force that on other people about like I'm on a diet but does that mean you can't eat cookies now because I'm on a diet it shouldn't work like that we shouldn't limit other people we shouldn't tell other people what to do with their lives if they're not hurting anybody else. Me. Yes, my dad may met up on me this year. Um, well, this film is all about millennials. Eh. It's an adulting film. Na iba sa mga previous Barbada films na pinalabas dito sa Pilipinas. So this is more on how millennials go through their different problems. Kung ano yung mga ugali nila, tapos bakit kami ganito ngayon. So, sana masundan niyo yung mga iba't ibang kwento ng bawat isang characters namin. Kasi very different kami lahat sa isa't isa dito sa film. Yes, sorry. May tinatang sa tinatang. Kasi una tinanong ni Sir yung ano, kung nakakarilig ko kayo sa character. Ako, ngayon, unti-unti kung mas nakakita na kung bakit ganun yung... Kasi in, previously, nung shinoon namin yung film, iba talaga yung personality ko. Tapos nakikita ko eh, na a lot of my friends, ganun na rin yung personality nila. Parang si June na may na unti-unting naiiba yung perception sa love. Kasi sometimes love isn't like dramas. Hindi siya laging happy ending. So, I guess that's what to the Macy's in love. Um, sana po yung mga tao na manunood ng film namin. I hope it's a broad spectrum when it comes to age, uh, nationality, religion. Kasi tama yung sinabi ni Direk. Sana nga yung halimbawa yung mga magulang, makita nila kung bakit nga ganyan yung mga millennials. Kasi alam ko yung mga parents namin, uh, especially because we live in the Philippines, uh, we're uh, conservative country, uh, sometimes we don't understand why our kids are acting a certain way. Nasa generasyon naman nila, hindi naman ganun, di ba? I can speak for myself. I have a younger sister na Gen Z, and hindi ko siya maintindihan. As in, hindi ko gets bakit. I don't know why that's how her brain works. Hindi ko get bakit ganyan siya magsalita, bakit ganyan yung ugali niya. And for me, I have to take time to put myself in her shoes din na parang eh, ibang generation na siya eh, di ba? Yung kung saan ako, kung paano ako pinalaki, kung ano yung mga surroundings ko, iba naman yung sa kanya. So, sana nga a lot of people are able to watch this movie so they can see naman a glimpse into the quote-unquote millennial lifestyle, the millennial life, the millennial problems that uh, us millennials go through. Tsaka sa character ko naman po, kung nakarelate ako, I think maraming tao na makakarelate kay Kurt. Kasi ngayon, lahat po tayo ay affected sa sa high competition ng society. ba? Diba? Lahat ng tao ngayon, gusto na maging boss agad. Hindi tulad ng mga magulang natin na nagsastart talaga sila dito sa baba. Tapos magtatrabaho, mapapromote hanggang magiging boss. Ngayon, everybody wants to be the boss. Everybody wants to be on top. So, 
I think uh, not only me, but I think a lot of people will be able to relate to Kurt's hardships and his struggle with being a millennial and overworked millennials.